Hi, welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. What I'm going to be making for you today is a delicious diet fruit cake. And what's so lovely about this delicious diet fruit cake, it's got no sugar, it's got no butter. We're going to make it with some delicious fruits and ingredients. And also, I got a special guest helping me make this delicious diet fruit cake today. Pam Party from the Newfoundland Arrow. Welcome, Pam. Thank you, Benita. It's great to be here. All this lovely ingredients, so exciting. We're excited to have you. Thank you for joining us. And what we'll do today is make this delicious cake and you will have a sample to take with you. I'm so excited. I was telling everybody, <laughs> I, I have a whole bunch of new friends. <laughs> So what we're going to do now is get started on this delicious recipe because I know you're anxious now to probably make one yourself. So what we'll do is put all the ingredients that we're going to be boiling because this is a boiled cake as well. You've got a portion of it that's got all these delicious fruits that you boil and we'll explain that as we go and I'm going to show you what they are. So now what we're going to do first, we're going to add all of these ingredients into our bowl. But we got some chopped up uh, orange, and this is a navel orange, and it's a, a medium or a large, whatever you uh, choose to use. We're going to put in here um, a cup of dates. And I got it chopped, but you don't need to chop it. And then we're going to have Ooh, two cups. Raisins. There you go. Love two them. cups of raisins and any type. doesn't matter. Okay. And then we're going to have two cups of water. Okay. And this is all the fruit is, is to replace the sugar, right? That's what right. it is. And it's, it's all kind of natural. Of natural. So, so much fun about this mm -hmm. is that... You're getting the helper. I know. Pamela's doing all the work. I love it. I and love you're it. just Thank talking. Thank you, Pam, for doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. glad That's to fun. help. This I, is... I can't even get Raymond to uh, to stir the, the mixtures of stuff. But no, That's Raymond, okay. you're fired. I, 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 I just like sampling. Raymond, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got one cup of oil and Ooh, any nice. oil you want to use. Just toss Does that include olive oil? Olive oil is not a cooking oil, oh, but any oil. Good point. Yeah, any oil like canola oil, vegetable oil, oh, all of your cooking oils. So we'll show you what's next. When we get started putting in those spices, you know this place is just going to burst with flavor, oh. isn't it ever? Do I get to do that? Yes, you do, yes. Ah, oh, cinnamon. You can Cin tell the smell, smell of that. Smell of that cinnamon. So there's two teaspoonfuls of cinnamon. We got some nutmeg, a teaspoonful of that. And of course, we're going to That's provide the recipe. It do, don't it? Nutmeg is Christmas. Because we know this fruitcake screams out Christmas, right? All spice nutmeg and cinnamon is the spices we're going to use. Now Pam's going to stir this all in. We're going to put this on a medium heat on our stove top. When it starts to boil, don't put the timer on until it starts to boil. And then when it do, put it on for five minutes and that's it. Take it off the stove. And I'm going to show you what it looked like when it's done. I think me and Pam's have too much fun I think today. so. And Raymond as well. And you know oh, that he can them. chitter a little bit too much sometimes because he's he's keeping us on our toes over here. But before he says something, because I know he will, <laughs> this is at room temperature now. This is the mixture that we put in the saucepan, got it on the back burner for it to boil. But it's got to be at room temperature before you work your recipe because you don't want a cooked cake. You want to a diet fruit cake, a right? Beautiful one. You want it moist? Enough. Nice. Oh yeah, it's just that. Not a doorstop. Not a doorstop. Okay. No, 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 not a doorstop. No. So I'm going to show you what that looks like, and then we're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. So this is what your mixture is going to look like when it's at room temperature. And again, it's got to be room temperature before you start the next ingredients. And this recipe today was given to me by my sister-in-law. Thank you so much for that. I can't wait for, for Pam to taste this cake because I've tasted it many times uh, over the years. So we're going to be using two eggs. Oh, and I'm on egg duty. You're on egg Raymond, duty. Raymond, watch this, Raymond. I'm watching. Just look, she's, watch this, Raymond. Oh, okay. She's a pro. 
There you go. How's that, Raymond? <laughs> I've got that Raymond, it's Raymond, number two. You got to watch if you. <laughs> now, oh, boy. So, the two eggs slightly beaten and then put in with our mixture. Now, oh, right. I'm, supposed right. be, I'm supposed to be beaten, Raymond. Slightly oh, okay. beaten, oh. yeah. Look at me, slightly beaten. How's that? A sli yes. That's slightly? <laughs> this is a slightly. As I can get. Gonna get. All yes. right, there we go. There you go. So, toss it right in. And that's all I need to do there. Now, bye. Pam, you're doing an amazing job with this. You do you know, think right? I could, uh, uh, if I ever leave writing, I could take up uh, uh, yeah. cooking? You can take up cooking. You can be our guest there anytime you want to make a special recipe. Mm. That was two teaspoonfuls of vanilla. And Pam is just going to stir it on in. So what we're going to do next is sift in our dry ingredients. Ooh, How cool is that? That's cool. Now that when you get back into work they're going to say okay you're making food cakes for us well uh, it's going to be a tall order for i'm going to have to be making we nine food cakes. two <laughs> cups of all wheat flour and one cup of white flour and pam is just going to sift it right on into that mixture all right so while pam is doing that raymond is you're doing an amazing job back there as well I you know you. with uh, keeping us on our toes right. you're going to sift that on in and then we're going to fold it in gently. We're going to fold in the cheese. No, <laughs> no, there's not no the cheese. cheese. No <laughs> cheese in this fruitcake. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Just speed it up. You're oh, I'm getting you're, fired. You're, no, no, speed it up. That way you won't feel like you're going to be there forever. Oh, okay. you give it a little time. We're getting through this amazingly, and I can't wait. I think you're having too much fun. Oh, well, that's what I was saying. I love when we have guests because Raymond don't help. Raymond, sometimes well, he does dishes, he, that's what he said. He about. said he does dishwasher. dishes, and sometimes he'll twist the bowl for me. Mm. So now what we're going to do, we'll toss in the rest of those grains. Yes, you see you it there? That's what you me about. Look at you. And we're going to have one teaspoonful of baking soda and two teaspoonfuls of baking powder. I like the fact that I'm not really doing a whole lot of anything here today, and I'm loving it because having Pam here helping and just... Working this recipe and making this cake absolutely delicious because all of those ingredients, it smells amazing in here. Pam, tell us a little bit about what you do at the Newfoundland Herald. Well, the Newfoundland Herald is 75 years old this year. Oh my gosh. And when I first started, I was frightened to death to take over a legacy from Jeff Sterling. Was and then Mark Dwyer had the job before me. He's over at MTV, and it was huge shoes to fill. Oh my gosh! But I had so much support, and I've been having so much fun. I get You're to enjoying. interview fun people like yourself. Oh, thank you for that. And musicians, and artists, and it, inspirational people all over Newfoundland and Labrador. I mean, there's so many great people doing so many amazing things. Newfoundland is like this fruit cake. It is, isn't There's it? There's a bunch of different things yeah. all put into the one and yeah. it all comes out, I was going to say delicious. Do we all, are we delicious? People? I think we're delicious. We're very, we're very much, our hospitality, our food culture, um, we just love sharing it with all of you and of course Newfoundlanders and Labradorians all over the world, including um, friends from every walk of life. Well, it wouldn't be a visit to a Newfoundland home if you didn't leave with a tea bun in your pocket or something. Exactly. Would it? A, a little, tin of mousse or A something. little care package, we always say. Mm. Yeah. My, my grandfather, Party, always used to say about Nan's uh, pastry, with her, like her chicken or roast, mm. yeah. stick one of them in your pocket. <laughs> As you go. Yeah. Just look how How'd nice. How'd I do? Just, this is amazing. Look. Absolutely delicious. Raymond, what do you think? Uh, I know it's gone along too good. I just can't wait to sit there with a cup of tea and a few of those little pieces. I know, right? You're going to get a couple of crumbs, Raymond. Oh, uh, <laughs> you're going <laughs> <laughs> we might get the little spoon. You, yes, Raymond, this is for you. Look, we're going to show you what that batter looks like. Okie dokie. Just look how delicious this batter looks. It smells and good so too. moist and, and all the fruit in there. So what Pam got there now is two is one cup of crushed nuts. Now I'm using almonds and walnuts, but you could use whatever your favorite is or a mixture of nuts and just fold that in. Oh, That's all we need to do there. So now that we got 
all that done. I'm saying we got it. I haven't done nothing. Only <laughs> just tough. But that's okay. I'm excited about oh, it. I, I must read that down in the book. Did you say you haven't done anything? See? We what have careful. I started? We got to be careful. All right. I got a, a bunt pan here, but you can use a pan of choice. It's lightly uh, greased. A pan is just going to put uh, the batter into this one. I you was, weren't wrong when you said it's 100 pounds. I was telling her that bowl. My, my bowl is uh, about 100 pounds. So uh, this is why I say to Raymond, can you hold this for me? But he never do. He's like, no, that's okay. I got lots of muscles, yeah, so I'm good. See? <laughs> so now just scoop it out into the pan. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you how long you need to bake this delicious diet fruitcake for. So now all we're going to do is just smooth the dough or the batter out into the bundt pan and you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and you're going to put this delicious diet fruitcake in there for about one hour. And all you need to do is just check it when your buzzer goes off. And that's it. How'd I do? Wonderful. Look at that. Delish. Okay. Okay. You did an amazing job there with that. See? I had a great yeah. helper. <laughs> you had a great helper. <laughs> and thank you for sharing uh, the, that beautiful story about how, you know, the Newfoundland Herald started and, and your position in it. And we're excited. We're so excited that you were able to even come here with us today from your busy schedule and come out around the bay. Well, it was worth the drive. And thank you for being part of our Christmas cookbook this year. It's an annual tradition at the Newfoundland Herald and that you gave a recipe for our cookbook was very delightful for us. So I'm excited. You know, one good turn present. deserves another yeah. so I'm honored. I can't, I can't wait for that cookbook to come out so I can just see the whole cookbook because we love picking that one up every year as well. I'm going to put this one to the side now till my oven pre-eats and then I'm going to show you one that we got done in advance. We're going to cut it. We're going to have a sample of it. I cannot wait. Well, I got the teapot already up for you. You know you do. What a fella. Uh -huh. And before I do that, Pam, I got a couple more ingredients we need to put on top. What I did was keep um, a couple of the walnuts in, in full form, and we're going to put on top of the cake and a little bit of extra cinnamon, just to give that extra flavor there. And we'll show you that. So pretty much, yeah, that's all you need to do. And, and you can put all sorts of nuts there on the top if you want to, or if you want to have a few of those raisins or I guess uh, the dates. And then this, I'm using cinnamon. Um, just and we're sprinkling? Sprinkle it. Yeah, just, Finger? no, no, you can just, oh, just, do yeah, it. just a rough all sprinkle good. over. Okay. And then it's ready in the wind oven and that Oh, extra wow. cinnamon is just going to burst that flavor. You know, we have so many. My father is one of them diabetics in this province. So something yeah. like this is a, oh. a must-have at every home for Christmas. Because everybody like their traditions. And right. fruitcake is a part of Christmas. And, of course, lots of different occasions. Okay, now I'll put it in the oven and I'll show you the other one. So now the big reveal. This is our baked fruitcake, diet fruitcake. And I got a couple of oranges just here off to the side. I'm going to show you what the inside of this cake looks like. We'll cut into this one as well. And we're going to have a cup of tea. Looks and amazing. Enjoy this one. Delicious. Now, I know you don't have to have uh, confectionery sugar over this, but this will just put a nice little coat over the top here just to give that little sparkle almost like of snow you know a little sprinkle of christmas yeah snow. eddie sheer would predicted that did he yeah that's right. <laughs> <laughs> darn eddie no snow <laughs> only on cakes only on cakes and this is it as good as it gets are enjoying this episode of this uh with myself and pam here and of course raymond going on we are going to get you to cut off a little piece there to show us what it looks like on the inside of this cake now if i get a crumb do i have to tell me a boyfriend's name Stop. <laughs> Yeah, you do. Yeah, he's knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door. It was good timing there with your boyfriend, wasn't it? That was fun. Yeah, he, he wants a piece of cake is what it is. You so could we'll smell package. it from the road. Oh, my gosh. Now we're going to show you what that delicious cake looks like on the inside.
oh my gosh that cake looks so good and we have got cake here now we're going to be Enjoy. gifting cake all day i'm sure back to the herald office just, for sure yeah, exactly just look how nice and moist this cake is you can see the nuts and of course the fruit is just built right into it delicious we're going to have some now with a cup of tea Awesome. That was so exciting today, but me and Raymond was so blessed to have Pam Partier from the Newfoundland Arrow visiting us and helping us work this delicious diet fruit cake so everyone could enjoy. I think she deserves a round of applause. Absolutely. And as well, if you want this recipe for our beautiful cake today, it's going to be posted in under this video here. Also, on our website, www.bonitaskitchen.com. You can also visit us on our Facebook page. You can send me a message at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. So I can't wait now to get over to our table and have some of this delicious cake and a cup of tea with Pam. So, from our kitchen to yours, on behalf of myself, Bonita, Raymond, and our team, you have an amazing day. When he, uh, when he was just a young fella. There you go, we're going to have a cup of tea here now. Awesome. And a taste of that delicious cake. Mm -hmm. Folks, cheers. Thank you for having me. It's yeah. been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to see what that uh, cake is like. Join us by the sea. And don't forget to join us again on Bonita's Kitchen. Bonita's Kitchen to yours. Bonita's Kitchen. Bonita's Kitchen. To yours.